Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to be talking about the banner that should be coming up next. Which is going to be the second banner for Trom. Technically speaking, this, I guess, does count as a spoiler for Trom. Um, at this point, his design has been out there if you watch the trailer for it. But if you're still avoiding Trom, I'm going to give you the time right now to leave <laughs> and come back when you're about ready to... I mean, you got limited time. Once he's in the game and ready to be summoned, then you're going to know what his name is. But still, for whatever reason, um, if you're still waiting for that day, I'll give you the little bit of heads up. And then we'll go three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Ruler Moriarty right here. Along with Don Quixote, and I guess we can also look at Zhang Zhu real quick. And that's going to be today's video, so let's get right into it. Um, just like all always, it's these are going to be the new craft essence that are not on Raid Up. They're going to be on it. Um, next is Zhang Zhu. I guess we can start with Zhang Zhu. Should we even start? Yeah, we can quickly look at him. Zhang Yu. He is not a limited three star, and he's a caster. That means that you're going to be able to always have access to him. I'm going to try and give as quick of a thing as I can for him because he is a three-star caster and therefore very easy to get to MP5. So everyone can just have him and use him if they so wish. Two quicks, two arts, one buster. First skill is General of Heaven B-. Increases parties at a quick and arts performance for three turns, 20% to both. His second skill is Great Teacher A. Increases one ally's critical star absorption for a single turn. And then increase their critical damage for one turn. And remove their debuffs. 200% uh, absorption. Crit damage is 100% on a cooldown of 5. And third skill is the way of the Taiping EX. Charges on MP gauge. And then 80% chance to grant uh, forest, water sign, <laughs> sunlight, and burning battlefield buff for 3 turns. Um, each one having their own 80% chance. So it's possible to get all 4 of these. It's possible to just get none of them <laughs> and just get three. In theory, I think based off of probability, it's likely for you to get at least three out of four of these. The first time I ever used this NP, I think I got all of them at once. But that should, in theory, not be the actual prevailing thing. But MP at MP level at MP level 10. At uh, level 10, he gets 50% MP charge on a cooldown of 6. His passive skill is Territory Creation B, United Construction B. His append skill for the third skill is the anti-caster attack damage aptitude, because I guess he just has it out. I mean, he is a part of the three kingdoms, so it only makes sense. And then his double phantasm is a Kanjitian EC Huangqian Dong Li. The azure sky is already dead. The yellow sky will soon rise. Okay, reduces all enemies' quick resistance by 20% if you're on a forest battlefield for three turns. If you're on the water side battlefield, reduce their arts. If you're on the sunlight battlefield, reduce their buster. And if you're on the burning battlefield, reduce their critical attack chance by 20%. And then deal damage to them. At MP level 1, this hits 5 times. Uh, it's 600% at MP level 1. And then if you get them all the way to MP level 5, it's 1,000. Which it should be easy because he's, he's always available. And then he increases his own MP damage for a single turn, activates first, uh, it's 10% MP damage at overcharge level 1, and if you get it to the final overcharge level, it is 30%. And that is Zhang Zhu. Um, he sounds pretty solid, to be honest, for a 3-star caster. It's not bad. The biggest thing that's probably going to be an issue is this ability here being 80% chance. So that means that because this is tied to his Noble Phantasm, you can't really rely on any of these. If you're going for pure quick type of dealio, then obviously you want to activate it and get the forest battlefield for three turns. I mean, you could always just fight at these battlefields, but the likelihood of that actually happening for one of these four is usually not that amazing for it. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of an issue. <laughs> And it seems like a decent amount, at least for a quick, um, for quick that is, if you don't get that forest battlefield, you're just going to be dealing so much less damage compared to all the other times. And that's kind of a shame. The thing that's nice about this is that it does have 50% MP, which is pretty nice. Uh, and he sounds just like a fun unit that you can kind of work around. Like, I'm trying to think of, I guess you could use him with Ozzy, but then Ozzy also provides the sunlight battlefield. So what's the point on in that front, I guess? And then I think he only grants it to himself, so I actually don't know if that activates it for others. 
Let me figure out, because I think there's another person that activates it for others, which is obviously Ozzy. So let me see. Does it only go for himself? Gain 10 crystals every turn on the Sunlight Battlefield that increases the party's damage on the Sunlight Battlefield. So that means when he gives it to himself right here, um, if I should grant self the Sunlight Battlefield buff five turns. And then that buff just means that you have the ability to use. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll assume. You can feel I just know so little about the Battlefield buffs that I actually don't know the answer to this. But either way, he sounds like he would be a fun unit to kind of mess around with if he's kind of, if this feels like this is something up your alley, then go ahead. An easy NP5, he has Anticaster properties and stuff, and like I said, not limited at all, so you will get him to MP5. I will get him to MP5 pretty easily. Um, so, there you go. That's Song Zhu. Now let's talk about the other two units that are going to be on this banner. Don Quixote, the uh, man of La Mancha, and of course, uh, Sancho Panza, right there, you can see there. Sancho looking very different from uh, how he normally is supposed to look, but I think it's because of he's in... Never mind. There's a reason for it, I think. I just don't fully know why, and I actually don't want to know the reason why, because I'm still reading through Trom, <laughs> so maybe they'll explain it there, but either way... Don Quixote is a uh, Lancer type. He has two quicks, one arts, two buster, five hits on the quick, two, three hits on the arts, two hits on buster, and five hits on extra. His first skill is uh, the Great Adventure of the Traveling Knight EX. Increases his own but quick and buster performance for three turns and then gives himself a gut status for one time three turns. 20% to, to quick and 20% to buster and a revive of 2000 HP on a cooldown of six. Uh, his second skill is opening the door of fantasy ex increases his own attack for three turns charges his own mp gauge every turn for three turns gains crit stars every turn for three turns 20 percent attack uh the mp regen is 10 percent and the star regen is 10 on a cooldown of six his third skill is closing the curtain of reality e can only be used when the mp gauge is 30 percent or higher 500 percent chance to reduce own mp gauge to zero charges party's mp gauge except for self and then gain crit stars the MP increase is 30% on the school and the stars are 20 and the cooldown is 5. His passive skills are Magic Resistance E, Writing E, Traveling Attendant B. Um, his third skill is an Anti-Rider Attack Damage Aptitude. Because obviously that you would it would make sense if he's with his horse that he would be... <laughs> he would be with... Uh, um, he would be a rider, but he's not. Um, he should have been... Man, he should have been some, whatever. Are giants typically? He doesn't have anything anti giant. No, he probably has it in his noble phantasm. And then his noble phantasm is the Valiente Estelto Dedicado a la Princesa. Oh, my dear princess, I shall dedicate my spear to you. Hits five times. It's quick. It deals damage to one enemy. It deals 150% extra damage against giant enemies. And then a 500% chance to deal 1,000 damage to self. And then increase party's attack by 20% for three turns. Uh, the MP damage at that level 1 is 1,200. If you get him all the way to MP5, it is 2,000. <laughs> and then if you, uh, his overcharge is an increase to party's crit damage for 3 turns. At charge level 1, it's 20%. And at the final charge level, it is 60%. And that is Don Quixote. And I should also mention he is story locked, which means he is limited with extra steps. So he's even more of a pain in the ass to get. Uh, how is he? Um... I think the answer is, is that Don Quixote is not the greatest. Uh, the reason is is that he does not really do any amazing job at buffing himself. Uh, as you can see here, the increase of quick and buster is nice, but it's only 20% for both. I don't know. Maybe this is a personal thing, but I never like these type of effects. I would prefer if it was just all quick. As opposed to all quick and some buster, but maybe that's just like a, a play uh, play issue, skill issue, who knows. Um, and yeah, and reviving with guts is nice, but also having that tied to your main like increase in attack is probably not the greatest. Something fall? No. Nope. Okay, a bottle fell. Um. And yeah, in general, I don't, I don't know how. It's really weird. I think this, this ability here itself. It's a really heavy price to pay to lose your entire MP gauge 
just to give 30% to both team members. Um, if you wanted, to, if you want to see like an insane version of this effect that has, um, just an insane version of this effect, which is why most people are summoning, uh, and it's not a fair comparison. I'm just showing you to specifically to say like, Hey, I know that for a fact they did an effect like this that is as good because it is coming up with a future servant. <laughs> Osk has a something similar here where she charges the party's NP gauge, but it's a full 50% and very important, doesn't actually cost anything for her NP. You have to do actually another kind of thing if you want to get this lowered down, because this starts with a cooldown already applied on it, so that way you can't just use it from the start, and then you have to do some stuff to actually get it lowered down, and you can even like work with it. And I think that's a more fair payoff compared to this. <laughs> Where it doesn't matter if you're at, if you're like at 90%, just lose it all and then the other two get 30%. It's not very good. It's even worse if it's at level 1 or level 2. Not very good. 20 crit stars is nice, but it's not anything like crazy. Maybe it would feel better if like, it also doesn't feel <laughs> that he buffs the party's crit damage in his noble phantasm, but you want to get rid of this. So you, it actually, it like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it meshes well with his design. I think it, you could probably get some funny things to go on here, because he does have 150% extra damage against giant enemies, so at least that means that um, if you're ever fighting against a giant and they're specifically archer, even though I don't know how many giant archers are actually in the game, um, yeah, he could probably work out pretty okay there. I don't know, it's a very silly unit. He's like a support unit, but then they also put some support, like an increase of party's attack and crit damage on his Noble Phantasm, when his main, one of his main skills just straight up lowers his Noble Phantasm. And it, it honestly kind of boggles the mind. <laughs> it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, and that's unfortunate, because as you can tell, I'm a, I really like Don Quixote. He's a fantastic character. Who doesn't love Don Quixote and his, uh, he's a, he's a knight errant, He's a lovely man who's just trying his best to be the knight that he wants to be. To be the greatest knight ever, and then it all runs. He's just a sad old man. I don't know, man. It's a shame. I hope that eventually they kind of maybe buff Don Quixote. Maybe feel free to tell me. If you're someone out there who has maybe played JP and knows a little bit more about him, feel free to tell me. But as far as I can tell, and from what I've looked up trying to find something, not a lot of people are very high on Don Quixote, which is, I, th I think it just kind of bumps me out. So if you actually want to make me feel better, feel free to tell me anything about it. But yeah, that's basically it for him. Um, he's definitely still, the other thing that's kind of a, oh, I guess this is actually a, um, a negative, is that on his skills, 60 of these goddamn blades. And if you are pulling for any of the Trom units, it is not a good idea to give him 60. You have to be... That is uh, 240 going his way. That just does not sound like a good deal. <laughs> it's, not, it's not 240. It's... Um, let's see, 120 plus 60. It's 180. Yes. 180 of these things to get him to max ascension. Not a max ascension, to max skills. When I feel like you could be using these on any of the other Trom units, and it just doesn't it just doesn't work out right now, especially if you're someone who's starting new in the game. You'll be able to ascend him, but you will never actually be able to get his skills to the final level until you get to Trom, and even then I feel like there's better units to kind of focus in on. But I think I, I've spent enough time dogging on my dude Don Quixote. I still I still love the design of him though. You know, I love what he's got building on here, so I'm still gonna be going for him. Um He's my main uh, go for, and now let's talk about some other people's main go. The actual problem main go for for a lot of people, uh, James Moriarty Ruler, or Young Morty, or Young Moriarty. He does not go by Young Morty. Uh, you can't call him Morty anymore, unfortunately. James Moriarty. He's a ruler. He has one quick, three arts, one Buster. His active skills are mathematical thinking. A. Oh yeah, on the hits, four hits on the quick. Four hits on the arts, four hits on the buster, and five hits on extra. His first skill is mathematical thinking. A grand self eva evasion, evasion, uh, evasion for two attacks. Oh god, someone texted me on the phone. That's fine. Grand self evasion for two attacks, three turns. Ignores evasion for three turns. Reduces all enemy arts resistance for three turns. Reduces the arts resistance uh, of enemies with the evil alignment for three turns. Um. 
It's 20% and 20% for the evil art and arts resistance on the cooldown of 6. His second skill is a slide we rule weapon B++, which is increased to quick arts and buster as well as crit damage for 3 turns. For It's 30% across the board for all 4 of them on a cooldown of 6. Uh, Dice Selection EX increases on MP gauge, grants one random buff from these two effects, only one can be activated. Increases on crit star absorption on arts cards for by 500% for one turn. Increases on critical star absorption on buster cards by 500% for one turn, and then gain crit stars. 50% NP and then 20 stars on top of that on cooldown of 6. His passive skills are Independent Action A, Conspiracy Creation EX, and Panic Cut C+. Which is a grand self charm. Uh, it's a uh, you're immune to charm debuffs, confusion debuffs, terror debuffs, and skill seal debuffs just in general. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty damn good. Uh, his third append skill is an anti ruler attack damage aptitude because, of course, Moriarty is anti evil, and I believe Moriarty on here he should be his chaotic evil. Literally, you could counter Moriarty with Moriarty. You can even fight old Moriarty, because I think both of them are evil. His noble phantasm is the mathematical malign malig um, malignant annihilation Anni annihilate? Mathematical malignant annihilate. Extraction in a mathematically evil way. Uh, rank B plus plus hits four times, deals damage to all enemies, deals 150% extra damage against enemies with the good alignment, and then seal their skills for one turn. And then fl inflict evil alignment for three turns to them. Um, MP level one, it's 450% damage. And then on the final MP level, it's 750%. And then an increase to own MP damage for one turn, which activates first, uh, is 20%. And then if you get all the way to 40%, it is 500. And this also hits four times, and that is Moriarty. Um, Moriarty seems like a pretty cool unit. I really like the the one thing that's kind of it's good and then it's also kind of a bummer is that his extra damage, while being very good and especially because good there's plenty of good alignment servants out there and good alignment enemies in general. It's actually tied to his noble phantasm. That means that it doesn't um, go with the overcharge. Where it overcharge when it's tied to the overcharge level, it gets stronger the more overcharge. This one is just a flat 150%, which is fine, perfectly fine, but, you know, it could have, in theory, been stronger. Um, I like the ability that he's able to seal their skills. That's pretty key on it. Uh, that comes up a little bit more if you're in a more challenging type of fight. And the ability to inflict evil alignment on the enemies is also pretty... It's funny because there are some dudes who are actually, like, anti-evil in a lot of different ways. So the ability to just give them evil opens you up to the possibility of kind of just like, as you can see here, all these units have skills that are related. Hi, Lucifer. Can I help you, cat? You want to talk about Moriarty? No, he doesn't. He wants to walk away now because <laughs> I'm making him feel weird. Um, these units specifically have like special damage bonus against evil type enemies, which is makes it so that you could, in theory, use them together for some fun, silly kind of team builds and challenge type fights. Um, yeah, and just in general, like, it, I like it because he's, again, a unit that, it, it's a little bit tough to sometimes with rulers specific, specifically, to try and loop with them, but I think it should be fine because he's arts. I th did I see a way to increase his MP gauge? Yes, it did. And the MP increase is 50%. It should, it should be possible. Castorius hel helps a whole lot with that because of the MP gain. And he does enough, enough damage on it that it shouldn't be that much of a problem. And he gains plenty of buffs. The thing I was going to try and say is that rulers can sometimes not deal enough damage. Because while they don't take very much damage from the enemies, sometimes they don't deal that much damage to the other ones. So it ends up being a case of just like having a way to kind of like either reduce their damage or do something else is comes in pretty key. And thankfully he does have some of that stuff. He has a way to buff his own attack which will help with the ability to loop and the... In other challenging type scenarios, like I said beforehand, this ability can come in pretty nice. And because he's a ruler, he's a ruler with evasion, which means in theory he should be really annoying to actually kill. It sounds like if you're actually going to fight him, he's also annoying in that kind of way to um, <laughs> deal with him as well. Because he'll make you evil and then do a whole bunch of other nonsense. 
Similar to what I mentioned with Don Quixote, I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of split design, especially because, uh, pay attention, <laughs> he has a single buster card, and that single buster card will get 500% uh, increase to crystal, critical star absorption, um, but he has three arts cards, <laughs> so, and th so you definitely want this, and then if you're ever in a weird scenario, let's say, where neither one of these cards exists, then this is just a dead, this is just a dead-ass card. The, the chances of you only using this with a single quick, it's possible, it definitely does happen, but it's something to kind of keep in mind. Um, it's also funny that he does buff his quick performance when he only has a single one, but sure, let's go with it. But yeah, I really like a lot of what Moriarty's going for. I think he has a young Moriarty or a uh, ruler Moriarty. He seems like a fun unit to kind of use. I like his design a whole bunch. I think this is a, a good way. And it's what I've read so far in the story, he seems like a real uh, good asshole to Sherlock Holmes so far. Um, and it's also a Rita servant. <laughs> uh, similar to how the other Moriarty is. And in general, I really like a lot of Rita's designs. And I think they're cool. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be going for Moriarty as well, even though I, I don't really need a ruler. <laughs> That's maybe the one thing. And let me just quickly check his skills. I really should check these skills back when... Thankfully, Ascension is going to be very easy. Um, he might... Funny enough, I think all these dudes are actually pretty easy compared to... Let me see Zhangju. Did they all like get easy Ascensions compared to everyone else? They did. So in the beginning... <laughs> Uh, so when Trom debuted, um, they had, where are they? I know where you, I know you're here somewhere. Are you not here? Am I crazy? I know you're here. Come on. All right, there you are. So for example, Krimhild is like this. Um, she requires 30 of the new, um, material to actually ascension. And for the other dudes, they also require... A lot of the Ascension, I think, like, uh, Charles the Great requires, like, an insane amount of them, if I remember right. I clicked on the wrong one. It was supposed to be Old Man. Where is he? There he is. Uh, obviously, in his skills, it requires a whole bunch, which is uh, another conversation to have. Is he not the one I was thinking of? Am I just crazy? It was, um, it was Don Quixote. But similar how I was saying, like, yo, Don Quixote requires a lot. Um, so does Charles. <laughs> Charles needs so many. <laughs> he needs 252. 36 for Ascension and 216. And I'm on like chapter 7 and I have maybe 6. Maybe, if I remember right. And I also, if I wanted to actually buff up Roland and check him out and see if he's as good as my brother said he would, I don't require another 180. And then if I even wanted to try messing around with Don Quixote just to see him, what he would look like, that's another 180. Um, and then if I ever wanted to level up the side skills of Tesla Pika, that's 216. That's a lot for a brand new material. I think it's fair to say, like, yo, if you're going to check out these units, maybe check it out a little bit to see how it is. So the worst thing about Moriarty is that once you hit the 7th and the 8th skill, it's going to be a tough climb if you're someone who's newer. Because this is going to require 36, and this egg is not easy to find. That requires 15. And then, finally, the one crystallized lore. But anyway, that's Moriarty. Um, like I said beforehand, I'm going to be doing a summon video. My brother will be there. I'm not 100% sure if he's going he's able to scrounge up enough for summons, but at least I'll be there, and we'll see if I can get some more dudes from Trom. My main focus, as always, is, like I said, Don Quixote, because that's my dude, um, but I would really like Moriarty. I was never able to get Old Man Moriarty, um, which is a shame. I think I actually have failed to get every single one of the male Rita servants, if I look at this correctly. All the ones that are not free to play, I failed to get failed to get yeah kentucky i'm gonna be trying and i think i have all the female ones but for some reason i am unable to get the dudes unless they're free <laughs> have both the you have both and the dudes the none of the, really you have the opposite effect yeah that's hilarious i mean that sucks but um I yeah i mean you have uh shooting doji caster as well because she's free everyone it comes with a copy of your xbox um, I, I don't have Shikabu. That's the one I'm missing. That's the, the, I think the only female I'm currently missing because I'm going to consider Ibuki Doji as gone and already because I have 300 tickets. And then the upcoming um, collab one in two years time I'll deal with in the future. 
But yeah, I'll, I'll be trying for him. Uh, wish me the best of luck, and I wish you the best of luck. Uh, hopefully we can repeat the same thing we had for Trom. Uh, oh, I, that ended terribly for me. Okay, well, the, maybe we can go half and half. How about <laughs> I get Don Quixote and you can get Moriarty? <laughs> That works out, and what actually will happen is that both of us will just get, both of us will get, uh, uh, Zhang Zhu and then nothing else. Gemstone backshots. Gem, gemstone backshots, the only two things that we're gonna be getting, Zhang Zhu and Gemstone backshots. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully soon in the upcoming video. If you want to check out some more videos from me, you can always, uh, see you mother. I never say this at all, but... Now that I re release more videos, you should check them out <laughs> at some point. Uh, until next time, everyone. I wish you guys the best of luck. Peace out.